Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day. On the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call this healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you on the Bright Side. We'll be taking your calls in our second segment, so try to get on board early. We have a guest coming on in the bottom of the hour. At, uh, at the bottom of the hour, we'll be talking to Doug Inglesby about flavorings and, and excipients in foods. So we'll take your calls in the second segment at 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the longevity products or ingredients or prescription meds, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you just want to comment or if you have a success story, 855-660-4261 is your phone number on the bright side. For you guys who want to purchase any longevity products or join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866 866- 735-2470. You can also click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. Of course, you can also purchase products off brightsideben.com. Uh, there's a shopping cart up with all the longevity products, including the BTT, my personal favorite longevity product, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder. You add it to water and drink. It tastes great. It's only 50 bucks a canister, and it's a wonderful source of hard-to-absorb Fatty nutrients, minerals, protein, amino acids, B vitamins, vitamin C, just 50 bucks a canister, and you can find out all about it at BreakSideBend.com. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can also check out my blog, PharmacistBend.com, which we update regularly. So we'll be talking to Doug Inglesby at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your phone calls in our second segment. This segment, I want to continue talking about digestive enzymes. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of digestive enzymes for digestion, but digestive enzymes don't just dissolve and help us process foods. At least in the case of proteases, protein-dissolving enzymes, you can use proteases as anti-inflammatories, pain relievers. You've got to take them on an empty stomach. Then they're called systemic enzymes, digestive enzymes, the same, the same enzymes, the same molecules, the same chemicals, the same supplements. When you take them with food, they're referred to as digestive enzymes. When you take them on an empty stomach, they go through your digestive tract, they get into your blood, they work in the system, the body system, Hence the term systemic enzymes, and they can do some really cool things. Lots of times we experience pain secondary to the accumulation of protein clogs, protein fibers, fibroses, as well as immune cell complexes that have attacked foods or toxins. These immune cell complexes can trigger the production of fibers, and the net result of these clogs, sort of like a beaver's dam, literally in the blood or in joints or in various tissues of the body, Systemic enzymes, particularly those enzymes that we call protein-dissolving enzymes or proteases, these proteases that you take from your ultimate enzymes or even in foods, for that matter, uh, kiwi and and pineapple, uh, uh, papaya have protein enzymes. These protein-dissolving enzymes can bust open the clogs and improve healing times, reduce pain, reduce inflammation, reduce swelling. They can be very helpful post-surgery. If you guys are going into surgery, recovering from surgery, take your digestive enzymes, get your ultimate enzymes before your surgery, and eat live enzyme-rich foods, fermented foods, as well as the aforementioned papaya and kiwi and pineapple, fermented beets, kimchi, yogurt, fresh veggies, 
fermented veggies. All of these are great ways to get digestive enzymes in your system. And if you take them on an empty stomach, those digestive enzymes can act as anti-inflammatory substances and they'll be in your body when you have your surgical procedure done and this will reduce swelling reduce inflammation and speed up healing time a couple months ago we had a caller who was asking about something called serapeptase serapeptase is basically a digestive enzyme whenever you hear the ending on the word ace a-s-e that tells you you're dealing with an enzyme there's also a substance called natokinase. We've talked about natokinase in the past in reference to vitamin K and natto. Natokinase is a really cool enzyme that's found in natto. Natokinase is a protein-dissolving enzyme. It's found in, in, in natto. Natto is a fermented soy product. We talked about that a, a few months back when we were talking about the importance of vitamin K. Both of these substances, serapeptase, natokinase, as well as bromelain and papain, have really important digest, uh, anti-inflammatory protein digesting benefits. I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence so much, and we talk about that product a lot. One of the main reasons about the Biolumin Nightly Essence, one of the main reasons I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence so much is because it's got enzymes in it. You know, we talk about it as a probiotic supplement, the Ingevity product, Biolumin Nightly Essence, and it is an awesome, awesome probiotic product it's got 14 different types of bacteria but really what really makes this product so cool is not only does it have probiotics but it also has digestive enzymes proteolytic digestive enzymes protein dissolving digestive enzymes it's got natokinase in it it has bromelain in it it has papain in it and it's got the good bacteria in it 14 different strains of good bacteria so not only are you going to get when you take your nightly essence, not only are you going to get your probiotics, but you'll also get digestive enzymes. If you take your uh, nightly essence between meals on an empty stomach, these digestive enzymes will become systemic enzymes. They'll go to work in the body rather than staying in the digestive tract, and you can use them pre- and post-surgery or for anti-inflammation or for, or for pain-relieving properties. These proteolytic enzymes, these protein-dissolving enzymes, by breaking up protein fibers can really do it, really have a wonderful, wonderful effect for folks dealing with arthritis or back pain joint pain of any kind, really any kind of inflammatory health condition. And on top of all that, you get your digestion, you get your uh, digest digestive uh, improvement benefits, so improved the digestion of proteins. And if you use the ultimate enzymes, you're going to improve your digestion of proteins and sugars and fats as well. Can you imagine if a drug could work that way? Imagine that Merck or or one of the big drug companies came out with a, a drug that not only helped your digestive system work, but it also helped you with back pain and migraine pain and helped speed up your recovery from surgery as well. What if a drug could do that? Can you imagine a drug that had the same kind of broad-based functional benefits that the ultimate enzymes from longevity have, and it was only 30 bucks a month? Can you imagine that? A drug that was only 30 bucks a month, it was non-toxic, it, it improved all your digestive health markers, and it improved inflammation and pain. What would a drug like that be worth to a drug company? This, my friends, is a classic example of why nutritional supplements are so valuable and so important. You get powerful, powerful health benefits. They're non-toxic, and on top of everything else, they're inexpensive as well. Enzymes work at a certain pH. This is also very important. You've got thousands of enzymes in the body, and each one has an optimum acid level. pH simply refers to how acid or non-acid a substance is. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14. 0 is super, super acid. 14 is super, super non-acid or technically alkaline or basic. And 7 is smack dab in the middle. Most of our digestive enzymes, at least our protein-dissolving digestive enzymes, our proteases, are designed by nature to work at an in a acidic pH, at a low pH. And this is one of the reasons why you want to use apple cider vinegar at the end of your meals. Apple cider vinegar can help activate these protein-dissolving enzymes that require a low pH. And by the way, this is another important reason why stomach acid is so, so, so darn important. GERD and heartburn are not necessarily problems with making too much stomach acid. I'll tell you what I mean as we continue talking about digestive enzyme, digestive enzymes and bodybuilding health on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back at you right after this. Don't go away. 
little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Hi, this is Gary Cooper with Midas Resources, Gold and Silver. Government shutdown, inept politicians, entitlements, looming Obamacare. The death of the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency is what nobody wants to acknowledge. We have a debt bubble that cannot be paid and will eventually crash the dollar. If you're concerned about keeping your money, why not consider storing your wealth in gold and silver? Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. Together we'll discuss your options of buying gold and silver. Again, the global elite have plans for your money, and it doesn't include you. So call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130, and we'll discuss your options of buying precious metals. Also, I can send you information on how you can roll over your IRA or 401K into a precious metal IRA. Again, don't get caught with money in your account when the dollar crashes. Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. Which do you love best, Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers? The meal takes such time and effort, you wish it was easier so you could have it more often. Well, right now it is. Right now you can. Imagine your family enjoying the ultimate comfort food easily during stressed out times of a disaster or emergency or outdoors while camping or hiking. The freeze-dried feast from Freeze-Dry Guy is a special case of Thanksgiving dinner ready for you any day of the year for at least 25 years. Freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, green beans, dehydrated potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Yes, even dessert. This delicious feast is ready to eat when you want or need it most easily in just minutes. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. There's free shipping, plus your family could win a free traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Go now to freezedryguy.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. On the bright side, tomorrow we'll continue talking about digestive enzymes and ways that you can activate your digestive enzymes. And we'll tell you about GERD and heartburn. GERD is uh, an acronym that stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Most folks know that as heartburn. And we'll tell you why that's not really an acid problem as much as it's a metabolic problem and what you can do about it. And it doesn't involve taking the purple pill, which is probably not 
something that you want to do. Even if Larry the Cable Guy says that, uh, that well, I'll wait for heartburn to hit you or whatever he says. We'll tell you all about that tomorrow. It says, uh, don't get heartburn in the first place. In any case, you don't want to take medical advice from, from Larry the Cable Guy. And we'll tell you all about acid in the digestive system, why you want acid in your digestive system, and how they affect digestive enzyme health as we continue talking about protein and anabolism, all as it regards bone building. Okay, our bottom of, in the bottom of the hour, we're going to be talking about flavorings and excipients in food with Doug Inglesby. We'll take your phone calls this segment. Wes in Idaho, thank you so much for calling back. What's up, buddy? Yeah, uh, good news I wanted to share with you. Looks like CDC has said that uh, antibiotics uh, day has ended. You heard that one? I- I'm not understanding you. Antibiotics day has ended? Yeah, yes, CDC is admitting they're no longer effective. I didn't hear that. Is that is that just today? Yeah, yesterday. I wanted to say that to you yesterday. But anyway, I called about vitamin B12. Yes, sir. I haven't sir. heard you talk about it, and I've heard some people say that the damage done from deficiency can be irreparable. I'm wondering mm, whether... That flies in the face of how the body works, Wesley. Uh, yeah, the body yeah. repairs itself. That's its nature. Nothing is irreparable in the body with the exception of mechanical kinds of trauma. You know, if you get your limb cut off or something like that, that's different. But as far as cells go, cells are always dividing. They're always repairing, uh, with some exceptions, of course. But no, I don't believe in any irreparable damage. Although, your point is absolutely well taken. Thanks so much for your call, by the way, Wes. Your point is very well taken. Vitamin B12 is absolutely critical stuff. Very underappreciated. Uh, you know, we'll talk about vitamin B12 as we talk about bone building health. You don't hear about B12 as being important for bones, but it is. Maybe we'll even talk about it tomorrow because um, vitamin B12 requires stomach acid for absorption out of the digestive tract, and we will be talking about stomach acid tomorrow, maybe even the next day. Uh, And then we'll tell you probably about something called intrinsic factor, which is a peptide, a protein, that is important for the absorption, that is required for the absorption of vitamin B12. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Uh, Let's move on to Oklahoma and talk to Bill. What's up, Bill? Welcome to the Bright Side. Uh, Good morning, Ben. I appreciate you very much. Uh, Thank you. Uh, my wife and I uh, fasted, and she didn't die. In fact, she, uh, she wants to, uh, she said, we need to fast once a week. Praise and God. Then. Now, isn't that amazing, Bill? I want everybody out there listening. You know, I talk about fasting, and it sounds silly, or people say, oh, I can't do that. I won't have any energy, la, la, la. You feel better when you fast, right? That's, well, she, uh, after the, uh, the first day, she was free of her stomach cramping. How do you and, like that? You know, yeah, that she thought was uh, uh, scars, scarring lesions. Uh, right. But anyway. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you for sharing came, that, Bill. I appreciate that. We came back up on, on the, the mono diet, and we did dairy first because uh, I keep milk goats, and, and we do the keeper and yogurt and, okay. and uh, cheeses, and uh, uh, we was good. In fact, and, and then the next day, we did the gluten-containing products. And? Because uh, nothing, nothing. And, and both, I have never heard you talk about this, but both of us have the, the short, uh, uh, short pinky bowel. finger. Yeah. Okay. Now, hang on, Bill. I want to understand you. You said you did, you did the mono diet with raw milk and you were good. You did the mono diet with gluten and you were good? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. keep going. Keep going. There's something well, else that's doing it. It could be it could be something as benign as seemingly benign as spinach or, or tomatoes. It could be anything really. Uh, well, what did you do? How did, uh, let me ask you one last question, Bill. How did you uh, do test your gluten? What kind of food did you use to test the, uh, for gluten intolerance? Um, mostly wheat, like the uh, we okay. did the pasta and uh, uh, bread and and mostly wheat containing products. And, and no problem. You, did, you ate it all day. You didn't have any bowel problems or gut cramping right. or anything like that. Okay, good. But That's, all- Go ahead. Our doctor is a uh, naturopath also. He's the MD naturopath guy, and, and he saw the short finger and tested us for the hydrogen test on your breath. Yeah, that just means that's just bacteria. That's not, that tells you how bacteria are processing food in the gut. So it's not okay. a permanent thing. It does, uh, hydrogen tests are just a measurement of what's going on in your gut in terms of bacteria. Bacteria emit, emit gases, and then the hydrogen, yeah. then the hydrogen gas is measured, and that's a measurement supposedly of what kind of gut bacteria you have. Are you on a probiotic supplement or eating fermented foods? We are, both. Okay, both. and how are you, how you feeling? 
okay, I I feel great, you know, but, uh, you know, it makes me question whether I've got this. Uh, I, I'd like to know the difference between gluten intolerance and celiac disease. Okay, that's a great question. Thank you so much, and thank you for your kind words, Bill. Appreciate it. Celiac disease is another name for gluten intolerance. However, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, it's not just gluten that is the problem. Gluten is kind of a generic term for sticky grain, sticky substances, sticky peptides, if you will, in uh, uh, barley, rye, oat, and wheat. But all grains contain these kinds of substances. They have different names. Just because something is gluten-free doesn't mean you're out of the woods. But it's not a problem because all you got to do, Bill, is eat a food and see what happens. It's as simple as that. You don't need any doctors. You don't need me. You don't need any testing. You don't need any naturopaths. You don't need anybody to tell you anything, you be the test, let your digestive system do the work. If you ate that, if you spent all day eating pasta and you had no digestive health problems, chances are you're pretty good because you would have felt you would have felt something. Now, if you really want to, you're not sure, that it's, you're suspicious about the results, spend two days eating pasta or eating just gluten-containing foods. But my hunch is you're going to find there's some other foods that were causing the problem. It could be something, as like I said earlier, as benign as vegetables. It could be phytic acid or phytates or oxalic acid. It could be, it could be anything. Foods are complicated substances, and there's no real way to know what's causing what unless you test it out yourself. So you're out of the okay. woods. It seems like you're out of the woods anyway. It seems like it on the, on the dairy, and that's good. And the fact that you're doing raw dairy is really, uh, it's a, there's a big difference between raw dairy and processed dairy, pasteurized dairy, because of the, the heat and the pasteurization process kills off the enzymes that help you digest the milk. That's what we were talking about yesterday. So you may have a problem with processed milk or, or pasteurized milk, whereas you don't have a problem with raw milk. You may have a problem with bovine milk, with cow's milk, and not have a problem with goat's milk. In fact, goat's milk tends to be a little bit easier for the body to process than cow dairy does. Now, the amino acids in goat milk and, and uh, the milk of sheep tends to be a little bit easier to process than uh, the milk of cow. So you may be okay that way uh, with goat milk, but not necessarily with bovine milk. It's just a question of testing things out, Bill. But you're certainly on the right track. And uh, okay. congratulations. Anything else? I've got a, yes, I've got a question on, on gas. How much okay. gas uh, is acceptable? How much ah, gas it's between you and your wife, my man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to come to an agreement on that, Bill. <laughs> Bill, I gotta move. I'm sorry. Call back tomorrow, buddy. Okay, we're gonna, we gotta take a guess in the bottom there. Thanks for your, thanks for your call. I'm sorry if we left you on hold. Call back tomorrow. Tell the call screener that we left you on hold today and we'll get you up first. Uh, we'll put you up first uh, when we take calls tomorrow on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're gonna talk to Doug Inglesby in our next segment about food excipients. Don't go away. We got more good health information on the way. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX 
or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiasts with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LaSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at LaSig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. LaSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. On the bright side, I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central, 24-7 on the archive page, brightsideben.com. You'll find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products, and you'll also find a Join the Team link that you can click on if you want to start yourself a longevity business and make some money selling longevity products or just help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. All right. We are honored to have a guest at the bottom of the hour, a guest coming up now, actually, Doug Inglesby, the vitamin professor. He's going to be telling us about the flavor makers, about flavor chemistry. We talk about this a lot on the program, the Manel Institute and the scientific manipulation of foods to make, not to make them necessarily taste better, to make them addictive and keep us from being able to stop eating them. That's why we can't just eat just one. Methyl benzoate, methyl cinnamate, methyl heptene garbonate, methyl naphthyl ketone, methyl salicylate. These are all uh, chemicals that are used by the flavor industry, as we'll talk about tomorrow and in our coming Brightside episodes. These kinds of flavoring materials can be tweaked and manipulated by gut bacteria to form carcinogenic compounds. And uh, Doug Inglesby, the vitamin professor, will be telling us about that. Welcome to the Brightside, Doug. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for having us. Real quick, why don't you give the listeners a little bit of uh, the down low on your CV and your bio, and then we'll get right into our topic, the flavor makers. Well, uh, 
You know, I've been in the vitamin. It's actually born in the vitamin business. It's kind of an interesting thing. My dad was the founder of Plus Products, and uh, in the it actually started in the late '30s. Got up to speed in the late '40s, and by the '60s, when the health food movement kind of took off, it was like third largest company. They did the the nutrition candy bar was their one of their uh, claim to fame, the Tiger's Milk candy bar. And they did Tiger's Milk. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Did you, you grow up eating tiger's milk? You grew up eating tiger. Did you grow up eating tiger's milk? Oh yeah. Wow. And, and handfuls of vitamin pills too. So, but we went from you know it's kind of neat because you know we went from being kind of the fringe uh, thing to be doing to now very mainstream and people you know are so interested in health and and you know a lot of it has to do with the the bulge in the population are getting older and you know when you get older you start creaking and and you start yeah. <laughs> thinking maybe I should start paying attention you get to desperate, that, basically. that nutritional information they were talking about back then. You get desperate is what it is, Doug. That's right. how I... <laughs> and so let me just ask you this real quick. Your dad actually was formulating nutritional supplements in the 1930s? Yeah, well, 36 was when they started. They actually, the first product they had was uh, the first use of vitamin B1 for uh, in plants, for, plant, for, for transplanting plants. And he had a product called Plus for Plants, and then he got into uh, vitamins for humans, came out with a high-potency vitamin C tablet, which nobody had at that time. And and then that garnered the attention of Adele Davis, who was oh, yeah. at the time just a consulting nutritionist. And she was starting at that point to write her series of books, Let's Get Well, Let's Have Healthy Children, Let's Eat Right to Keep Fit. and. Uh, her Let's series, as she called it. And so she would give my dad the galleys of the books before she actually published wow. them. And and uh, he would formulate the combinations of nutrients because it, it, it was really multiple supplementation was not happening at that time. The most multiple supplement you could get was like A and D together. Hmm. Everything else was B1, B2, you know, single thing. This is the so 40s they, this is the 40s and 50s we're talking. Yeah, now it's in the 50s now, and they and they created the first stress formulas. You can go into Walgreens now, and you're, there's like 30 stress formulas you can pick from. So, and a lot of the multiple combinations. You know, if you if you look at a, a multiple supplement, even if you go like on one side to Centrum, okay, down in the the TV advertising drugstore category. And then, you know, the other side, which is a product like we have, like all one, you know, the formulations aren't that different. The potencies are different, and the uh-huh. sources of the ingredients are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are really past the test of time, and, and, and Nadell and my dad were the ones who were first ones to doing it. So That's a great story. Now, I want to talk about the flavor thing, and I, I love, that's one of my favorite topics to talk about. But real quick, what do you think of the RDAs? Oh, they're too, I mean, as a whole, they're too low. Um, you have to understand that when how how and when these things were created, uh, when they were uh, there was no recommended uh, daily allowance of vitamins until the during World War II when they created K rations. They wanted the scientists to find out what is the the level of a certain nutrient that has to be consumed every day to not get a. a nutrient deficiency disease like scurvy or rickets or beriberi and and so they came up with the the nut days they call them the minimum daily requirement minimum was a key word there and uh, over the years the numbers the, the name of it's changed it went from minimum daily requirement to recommended daily allowance and now I think it's recommended daily value or something mm-hmm. but the numbers really have they actually changed vitamin C and it was they had 50 milligrams of vitamin C and uh, in, a, now it's in the late 70s they went up to 60 you know, it was a big move I, I think it's 100 now the government so th- but anyone who's been around supplements taking supplements studied supplements know that, that you know like vitamin C a thousand milligrams a day is a, is a good dosage on a maintenance program that's 1667 times the recommended daily allowance so if some of them are low some of but most of them are I mean most of them are all very low some of them are about are right on but what do you what's right what's a right on RDA in your opinion you know uh, the ones usually if you look at it in a multiple supplement, and it comes up, 
you know, like it's one or two times. No, no, I mean, which, are any RDAs or any recommended daily allowances, in your opinion, enough of a, of a nutrient in order not just to keep you def- uh, from getting a deficiency disease, but to keep you optimally healthy? Or any RDAs no. opt? No, I don't no, think I so. think there would be, in fact, uh, Emmanuel Skaraskin, who is a wonderful uh, kind of my mentor in the industry, uh, the researcher from the University of Alabama, and he... He actually came up with uh, what he called the optimum daily. The ODI, optimum yeah. daily intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I didn't... and that's been kicked around for years now too. And and uh, you know, the, the, it, really, when you talk to whoever you talk to, they they kind of come up with about the same numbers, especially if they're knowledgeable in that area. All right, so uh, flavorings, and I'm sure you read Fast Food Nation. There's a big, there's a chapter in there about uh, all the flavor, the flavor chemical companies in New Jersey. Basically, is what what Eric Schlosser talks about. Tell us about flavorings and how they're related to perhaps uh, our chronic degenerative disease epidemic and maybe obesity and diabetes as well. Well, uh, I think they're very related. Uh, you know, but first of all, but 90%, maybe more, of the foods that we consume as a nation are uh, processed in some way. And when you process something, when you freeze dry it, when you uh, do whatever they do to the microwavable meals before they put them in the box, it, it, it's it's. You know, the, just the, the fact that it was prepared oftentimes, you know, six to nine months before you actually consume it. Because it's got to get, you know, into the, it's got to be prepared. Then it has to get into the food chain distribution. Then it comes out to the store. Then it sits in the store for a while. Then you take it home. And then it sits in your freezer for a while. And eventually you, you know, take it out and make it. Doug, hang, hang on, hang on to that thought, Doug, because we got to take a break. We got about five seconds here, so hang tight. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Doug Inglesby. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. There's a guy named Dr. Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor. Both a veterinarian and a naturopathic physician, Doc asks, why is this country spending more money on health care by far and ranking 50th in health and longevity worldwide? Doc believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, taking charge of their life, and attaining optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic pharmaceutical drugs that lead to side effects that require more expensive and toxic pharmaceutical drugs. Talk about being dependent on drug companies to our own destruction, no less. This is clearly a deadly recipe. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the government and big pharma manipulation of our health and health care system. I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care, and I've joined forces with him to help this tireless crusader spread his message. Visit BrightSideBen.com and listen to Doc Wallach's deadly recipe lectures. It makes a lot of sense, and I invite you to join our BrightSide Ben team. Go to BrightSideBen.com. That's www.BrightSideBen.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited-time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open-pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. 
Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Let's take care of your family and get it prepared and help us take care of our brothers and sisters in arms. From now through Veterans Day on November 11th, FreezeDryGuy.com is offering 10% off everything for active duty, reserve, and retired U.S. military members and their families. No proof necessary. It's on the honor system. In addition, for every purchase you make during this period, we'll make a donation to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Since retiring from the Army, the Freeze Dry Guy has been your trust source for freeze-dried food and dehydrated food, perfect for emergency preparedness and outdoor activities like camping. He's offering 10% off for active, reserve, and retired U.S. military and their families now through Veterans Day, plus donating to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation from every purchase. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or go to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll be talking to Dr. Andres Berger about his book, Beverly Hills Aging Prescription, Surprising Lifestyle and Anti-Aging Tips from uh, Beverly Hills Doctor. We'll do that on our next bright side episode. We're talking to Doug Inglesby today, the flavor makers, about flavorings and excipients and foods. Doug's got a really interesting background. The Inglesby family has been doing vitamins since the 1930s, apparently. Doug, before we went to break, i sorry to interrupt uh, that I interrupted you, but you were talking about... Uh, you're talking about excipients for, for preserving foods. Um, if you could just finish that up, and then we get into some of the flavoring stuff. That'd be great. Right. Yeah. We, just like a vitamin won't make that transit uh, in terms of time and processing, uh, the flavor doesn't either. And so they've, they've, the more the foods are processed, the more they're dependent on these uh, flavoring agents. And the, the, the tricky part is is that because of the sway that uh, the the food manufacturers have in, in the government, uh, if they have, they can have a combination of, say, 50 different chemicals. You were reading some of them earlier in the show. But let's just say that one of them had uh, a natural origin, like it was mint oil or something like that. They could call it natural you know, from flavor. Time to time that, yeah, they can call that whole natural, <laughs> natural flavors. That's great. Uh, That's great. And because it only takes a tiny amount of these things in it, specific food, it always ends up right at the end of the food label. So, so even people that are reading food labels, you know, they're reading all this, you know, organic inside, there, and then they get to the bottom and, and natural flavors. Well, that's the that's what's really, uh, you know, where a lot of these things are contained. But you had asked about the obesity epidemic and where these flavoring agents are used in a little bit more of a malevolent way to try to create an addictive taste is in the snack. A food. little bit more malevolent? That's the definition <laughs> of malevolence. It's satanic. <laughs> well, they're, they're trying to, they, they really truly want you to become hooked on this stuff rather than, you know, just trying to make it you know, look like the picture on the box. Doug, that's the and definition of evil. That's the very right, definition of it. Right. Hacking so, into our brain. Hacking and, into our very and it brain. Does. You know, you have this little bundle of nerves in the, you know, bottom of your nose and the back of your palate called the olfactory epithelium, and that's where basically all taste and all flavors kind of come together, and they, they work on that little nerve bundle there to try to get something that tastes so good that you just absolutely That's crazy. Have, to have more of it. What do you think about you tack can we hack into that to, to cut down our appetite? Is there are there smells that you can that you can inhale that will actually actively shut off that that area? Uh you know, I would you know it, it's possible I would think, you know, maybe that's a kit to send you know, with, with, the, with every bag of Doritos. Oh, there I said a press. To shut off, you know, to shut off the, your addiction, right? Yeah, right. And, and you just put it under your nose, and it makes it taste like a lemon or something. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, a couple things? First of all, you ever hear the stuff called miraculum? No, I it, it's a it's a substance that's found in this special fruit called the miracle fruit that makes onions taste sweet and makes bad taste taste good. You ever hear this stuff? Miraculum. 
And no, it, I haven't. It, it plays around with that, that olfactory area, the olfactory epithelia, and it makes it makes bitters bitter tastes taste sweet and uh, sour tastes taste like sweet as well. It's called miraculum. How about the uh, Manel Institute? Have you heard of the Manel Institute in Philadelphia? Yeah, I have heard of the Manel Institute. That's that where they actually they, yeah they study how to tap into the brain and how to make you addicted to certain foods and and keep you eating. So that's what you're talking about when you talk about the obesity epidemic. The, the link is this the fact that we can't stop eating. Eating these foods, or is there a more metabolic or biochemical reason? Well, you know, the foods that we're talking about are foods that are, very, you know, loaded in hollow calories. You know, so you're eating something that really doesn't have any nutritional value. And you know, when a, when we get a sweet craving, which is something people get, you know, they, they just have to have some sweets. Oftentimes, what that indicates is that you have a kind of a broad spectrum nutritional deficiency, mm-hmm. and. Because if we were to if we were to go back 300 years, you know, before we had all these choices at the checkout stand, and you you were to have a sweet craving, you know, what would you do? Where would you go? You'd find a handful of grapes. You'd find an apple, an orange, you know, stone fruit, something that was had a natural sweetness. Well, that is also in those ripened fruits, and it's oftentimes in their pigments and their colors are. The, the nutrients that your body needs the to handle the sugar, to handle the right. sugar as well, and you get a little sweet taste. So the sweet's there to draw you to it, but you know now what we do is we eat something that's basically nothing but sugar, you know, with some chemicals thrown in so it tastes like the the, the strawberry or whatever on the on the cover of the snack food, and and people eat that and then they wonder why they still have a sweet craving, and it's because. For sugar to be metabolized, it has to have those those other nutrients available. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of like you know when you were a kid in Boy Scouts, you had to have air and you had to have fuel and you had to have this. Well, the same thing's true with the body. In order to process sugar into an energy calorie and and dissipate it, you you have to have certain nutrients. So if you take only the sugar. They'll find the nutrients. They're in the cells of the body, and they'll suck them out, and and it'll increase the nutritional deficiency rather than having the sweet craving get you to the thing that was actually nutritious. Isn't it interesting how the sugar cane and the sugar beet are loaded with the B-complex and thiamine and niacin and magnesium and all the nutrients that you need to process the sugar that's in the plant itself? Of course, then we go and extract the sugar and and throw out those silly vitamins and minerals that that are there to help you process the sugar and the fiber as well. All right, how about, uh, tell us a little bit about about liquid nutrition. I know you formulated uh, a powder vitamin, uh, all one, which I love, by the way, and uh, tell us about your take on using liquids for to, uh, to get nutrition. Well, liquids are uh, an interesting concept. I mean, I particularly uh, prefer a powder because the reason is is that when you do a dry blend of something, uh, you don't have to tromp on it very much. You know, you just basically weigh it out and blend it. And so, it, and then you put it into a can and they send it out and it's very stable, you, it, especially if you mix it with protein to kind of isolate the nutrients from each other. And, uh, and it stores well. And then if you take the scoop and put it in your juice and shake it up in the morning, then, then it's going into your body as a liquid. The, the problem with, with pre-made liquids is uh, oftentimes they don't taste that good, so they have to put in some type of flavor. Mm. And also, you have uh, a preservative that has to go in there. And the the classic preservative in a liquid supplement is sodium benzoate. And sodium benzoate, when it mixes with vitamin C, which is or ascorbic acid, which is one of the nutrients that's probably in the multiple liquid that you're taking. It actually can free the benzene up, and how significant uh, is that? I've heard about that. Is that a significant right. reaction? And so I would is that, say, and Doug, is it a significant reaction between the vitamin C and, and the sodium benzoate? It, or is it, just, it, it yeah, it's, it, it's enough that when they did some studies in uh, who was it? They actually it was with diet. Uh, I think it was a diet cola or something in Europe, and they. We're using that as a preservative, and and some kind, one of the countries, and Europe's much more progressive than we are in terms of what you should and shouldn't put in your body, <laughs> and they're and they're and they're willing to state it, and and they 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 ended up changing it out for another. I think maybe, maybe it was potassium benzoate. I can't remember what they went to, but 
it was really consumer demand and information that was happening that people said we don't want to that you know I don't want to drink something with that in it. So. And of course, of course, in a dry powder, you don't even have to worry about that. There's no water, so you don't have to worry about preservation. Right, and the well, other, and, and you know, you expose uh, nutrients to moisture even when you're making a tablet. Right. You know, you go, they go through what they call wet and dry granulation, which is you make basically you do the dry blend like you would with the L1, but instead of putting it into the, the can and sending it to the consumer at that point, you turn it into a paste. And in, when you make that paste, you have to put in something to, to, so it'll stick together. They call Max it a so it'll So it'll break apart when you swallow it. That's called the disintegrant. And then you've exposed the B vitamins to moisture, so it smells like a wet dog, so then you have to put a coating on it. So you have, and that was really kind of the reason that, that my dad worked to create this formula. Uh, I mean, we kind of worked together on it, but that was his, his he knew that there were a lot of non-nutritive additives and a lot of pills and capsules, and a lot of people, especially as you get older, they find it hard to disintegrate a uh, compressed tablet. So uh, you don't have the digestive tract that you had when you were young. And, and so it's a much more readily available way of taking a supplement. Doug, we're out of time. Thank you so much. How can folks find yeah, out more about what you're doing? Thanks for having me on your show. Give, uh, give out your website real quick, Doug. Okay, w, uh, all one A L L O N E dot com. Thank you so much for being on the program, Doug. Okay, we'll talk again soon. Me. All right, buddy. God bless. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we're going to be talking to Dr. Andres Berger about his book, The Beverly Hills Diet, and we'll continue talking about enzyme therapy and using enzymes for anabolic bodybuilding health. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Thanks so much. For, thanks so much for joining us, friends. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. American gardeners and fellow patriots, make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.